Let's take a live look outside right now at downtown Everett and you can see the thick fog there. It's not as bad as it was, at least from what I experienced in the city of Seattle earlier today, Mike. So is it easing up a little bit? Um, obviously wasn't in Everett earlier this morning, but it seems like it was just so thick when we woke up. It was thick all weekend long. This is actually yeah. the first visibility that we've had in a better part of the last 72 hours. And the reason is we've got a little bit of circulation happening in the lower levels of the atmosphere. I'll show you that in a moment, but there's a lot of still air behind that. You just heard that gentleman in California saying that they had strong gusty winds. Our problem is the lack of wind. We've got high pressure right on top of us. And what that does is just stills the atmosphere and just takes anything that's trying to come in off the Pacific and diverts it up and around us. So yeah, the air is stagnant. That advisory is in place until at least noon on Wednesday. And again, basically for the most part, this doesn't affect most of us. But again, if you are a sensitive breather or you do have some plans to burn anything outdoors, hold off for the next few days. So what is air stagnation? This is a new one for us. It's an excess buildup of pollution in the lower atmosphere. OK, there's going to be a quiz. Get your pencils out. Usually when an air mass is stalled for several days, when you've got high pressure right up above you, yep, that's a stalled air mass. And so what happens is it's a lot like our bodies. It doesn't get the opportunity to circulate and cleanse all of the smoke, the gases, the industrial waste, and all the stuff that comes out of our cars every day normally goes up and out into the atmosphere. What it's doing right now is staying trapped in the lower levels of the atmosphere. But as we were just seeing a second ago and Jessica was just commenting on, we actually do have some visibility in spots. We've got some light flow that's taking place from the north to the east there or from the north to the south rather. And then out towards the coast, we've got some fantastic flow there. But what happens is we go through the rest of the week, Tuesday morning, calm, 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 literally from Bellingham all the way down towards Olympia. Let's try Wednesday. We go to Wednesday at nine o'clock in the morning. OK, we've got some threes and some fours, but also a whole lot of calm going on. Let's try Thursday. We fast forward to Thursday morning. This is 930. Still a lot of calm air taking place. Some fantastic flow out along the coast and we'll have some flow up in the mountains as well. So if you are looking for some clear air, I'll show you that in a moment. But let me show you this. This is Friday morning at 8 a.m. Calm calm, calm. It's not going to be until the second half of the day on Friday that we'll finally start to see some motion and movement as a new system moves in. So if you're missing the sun, this is a live look from Westport right now. It looks like a postcard. That's phenomenal. Beautiful clear skies out there. That's what high pressure normally looks like. Or if you want to head up into the mountains, we've got some flow happening there as well. So Sun Mountain Lodge has got all the above. Sun Mountain Lodge, you can see them all and they look great. New snow will be moving in this weekend. I'll tell you more about that coming up. Meanwhile, big picture in the GO-17 satellite. I've got it zoomed way in to show you exactly specifically where the fog is right now, and it seems to love the Puget Sound. So the coast is looking clear, mountains are looking clear, but right along the low-lying water there, that's where that fog is going to build up again tonight. So fog will be an issue tomorrow morning. Take a look at radar. Conversely, absolutely nothing going on. No rain potential for the next three days. Current temperatures are cool. We've got some upper 30s and lower 40s. 40 in Bremerton, 45 out towards Hope. We'll see that cloud cover and that fog start to fill back in overnight tonight. It'll be dense and socked in tomorrow morning. So Tuesday is going to be basically a carbon copy of today. We'll see that morning fog. We'll spend the whole day trying to mix it up and out into the atmosphere. And even when we do, it's going to be cloudy. Sun chances return later in the week. Rain and snow chances return this weekend.